honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? Um, so this is gonna be the last for your May, the weekly is 22 to the end of the month. Okay, so time is fast. The time is, uh, no, that's a different song. Okay. Anyhow, make sure you tune in to your tarot after dark, right? Um, so that's a, you know, that's a new thing. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are watching it already, but if you haven't, do check it out. It might resonate with you and your situation. Okay, so first things first, let's establish that this channel is all about your personal growth. We read the zodiac itself. No if, what, not, maybes, meaning, oh, maybe it's the other person. No, this is a Scorpio reading, so the Scorpios are invited. Let me give you a tip if you cross-watch. You yourself, Scorpio. When you cross-watch and you try to switch a situation to, uh, so that it can be yours, that already is not your story because you had to change it. The divination process has to be for you, direct, okay? It's already crazy that the person that you're dealing with or the situation itself is iffy. So the divination process is exact. It's you, it's you, right? Venus is love. Venus is love, period. Jupiter is abundance, abundance. There is no switching it. So same thing in divination process. So if it's your reading, it's you. If you had to switch it, it's not you, okay? So cross-watching is not encouraged in this channel and it's called My House, My Rules, just like what our mom said. So you are more than welcome to find the door and exit and come back when you are a Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> so maybe the next lifetime. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's see. So let's see here. And tarot cards are like $22. And YouTube channel is free. So you can create your own rules with your own channel. Isn't that amazing? Do it. Don't cross watch. <laughs> you have here Page of Swords. Uh -huh. Now, you've been contemplating okay, to talk to this person. Now, I'm not sure if this is somewhat connected to the Tarot After Dark um, because this is about you finding out something. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what you're finding out, but with the Page of Swords, normally you're gonna address it, you know, um, to the T. It's an immature conversation. I'm just letting you know, Scorpio. You're gonna be immature here. You're gonna, you know, in a way, you will lose your class. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you will try, but you will get triggered because it's an immature conversation. Let's just say, because it's a snoop card, right? It gathers information. It's going to look for data, which means you're going to call them out. I saw on Instagram, you like this picture so-and-so. So now they're going to come at you what do you mean? So you have been checking up on who I like, whatever. I don't think though that's still applicable, right? In Instagram, so I don't know. Um, I haven't been on Instagram for a long time. So you understand me. I saw so-and-so liking you on Facebook, you know, or you sharing pictures. I saw on your phone, this, is and that. So you lack class right now, right? Because you went nasty there. You went nasty. 
you really did. Okay, that's why I told you guys. You can't. You know, I'm not. It's you know, you don't have to switch this because oh no, that's that's me. I'm a good zodiac. You know, no, you're nasty with the page of swords. You Snoop Dogg. They have they have their right to their own privacy. We know that. But what you found out, you know, it's like we shouldn't be snooping around. But you did. Okay. Then let's see. Mm. Because she may, she may. Mm -hmm. King of Cups, which is you. Totally you, this one. Now, on your end, okay, you love this person a lot. Okay. So much, so much. Like, you die for this person. Okay. Um, but you didn't see that coming. Let's just say, you really didn't snoop and you know the universe showed it to you okay like it's just so happened accidentally their phone you know like what do you call it light up or whatever picture or data email whatever that you have found out the universe brought it to you i understand okay yeah, some people really wouldn't snoop but the universe really brings it to the surface and still though where is the thin line of how do I not call them out when I, I I didn't tell the phone was there the computer was there the camera was there you know it was there I was in the office Sal it was there mm, I understand because the king of cups is just like you love this person so you were not really snooping it could also be your intuition telling you like something is wrong here something it's just something you know and your intuition was telling you something you know which is right Okay. See, the Scorpios are not really pretentious. You know, like you can drag them by the hair, call them whatever, you know, because they will own up to it. There are Zodiacs, and I'm not going to go there, who think that they're high and mighty, that they're always the best. You? If I'm the best, I'm the best. If I'm the worst, I'm the worst. What's that about? You know? This is what you're doing, though. A, sh a what do you call it? A premiere of a Scorpio. Nasty when it's nasty, good when it's good, we don't go in the middle. Zodiac that goes in the middle, uh-huh. You got a king of pentacles here. So, let me see, is it them? Is it a Capricorn? So they're upset about this, okay, because their arms is clenched, okay. They're out in the cold and they will not respond to your accusations. Uh, because, you know, in the court, it is really, uh, what, inadmissible? I'm not a lawyer. But, you know, like when you gather an information or data that you you got it in the wrong way, it's just like you're now the one that's like you can't use it. You know, when you record someone and you didn't, you know, it was done maliciously, you know, and then you can't use it. Inadmissible, right? So what you did was, you know, you call them out, they put you in the, you know, they are now out in the cold. They're not going to own up to it because their ego got hurt. Mm -hmm. Their ego about getting caught. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's annoying when a Zodiac thinks that they're the best. There's 12, so I haven't named any. Two of Cups, okay. you can make your own assumption. I go by the nakshatra, okay? <laughs> so 27 then, uh-huh. Two of Cups. Hmm. So you guys had promised to each other. There's Dove, Dove is a Scorpio, okay? Um, uh, because it's a symbol of life and rebirth, okay? And spirituality, it's ascension, okay? So, oh, darling, you ain't holy, Scorpio. Okay, if I, if it's like, oh, ha, 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 yes. Because people who still cross-watch here think that I'm beefing you up. No, I just called you nasty. So that cross-watcher should be going already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups, you guys made a pack, a promise of loyalty and love. Okay. So this is a good memory. I like it that this came to your reading, mm -hmm. which means... Your love and their love to you is equal. Okay. Might met on a vacation. 
Mm -hmm. Might go, you probably guys went on a hike, a mountain trail. You guys have gone to the beach, some certain museums that you guys have visited. Um, this person probably lives in a place where it gets snowy and you're by the shore also. So there's that East Coast, West Coast vibe or mountain-ish vibe on their end and you're in the, by the coast. Okay. Death, <laughs> they come to. Surprise, you know, this is what you're doing. Death card, surprise, I know it. Okay, with the, page, with the Page of Swords. Knight of Cups here. Okay, let me see. I feel like that's the person that they could have been, you know, um, interacting with also. Or, let me see, because you never switch the readings. It's... It's you trying to prevent yourself to take this like, you know, like, okay, I'm going to brush this off my shoulder and it's fine. I feel like it's you. Surprise, I'm not going to brush this off my shoulder anymore. So you have the hunch. So I don't blame you there. You had a hunch. You know about it. That's the T. Okay. Five of Cups. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Important email. Okay. Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups... Um, no, I don't... Uh, they're telling me that it's... Oh, so I got a feed from my um, producers that the camera is overexposed. So I would have to adjust it right now, guys. Yeah, so let me see if this is better. Okay, I think it's better, right? So, yeah, that's the message. Cameras overexposed. So they could, they're uh, um, working with me remotely. Okay. Um, five of Cups with the um, Page of Swords. So you could be Little Mermaid but when they cross you, you're the grudge. You take it to your grave. If I have to go to hell for this, I will go to hell for this hell. To hell with this hell. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to be a saint. Okay. I'm trying to build a relationship. And that's where it is. The grudge. They screwed up big time. You see that? They screwed up big time. Mm -hmm. Big time, Scorpios. <sighs> Third party, Three of Swords. Okay. Oh, and this is not anymore. It's like, oh, maybe not. You know your situation. No, these are for people who are in a third party situation. So don't even switch it anymore. So if you are not in a third party, you know, then this is not reading for you. Plain and simple. Okay. Because you are crying here. You are sobbing here. And especially with the Five of Cups. Mm-hmm. It upset you. It broke you. You love someone. You would give everything to them. And that's what they get. That's what they gave you. Oof. They upset under the Queen of Pentacles. The no contact, see, out in the cold underneath it. So, definitely the person is angry. Okay. How did they screw up? And why you guys are not talking? Mm -hmm. That's them. They're probably frustrated at work also with the Five of Pentacles. Under the Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So the person hold that's them, I feel, they, held, they hold this connection close to their chest. And they, in a way, angry at themselves because how can they let this thing go down this way? So it was important. Very, very important. Okay. Ace of Pentacles with a death card. So... This is what you ended with them. The death card is an offer of 
long-term relationship. You wanted a commitment with them. Now you're holding on to this back. Six of Wands. I feel like you want to be happy. That's it. With the Six of Wands. You would probably spend time with your niece, nephew, friends, family. Like you're trying to forget this situation right now by being busy. Okay? Now, this ain't over. Meaning, with a death card, you just caught this person. Boo. But there you guys haven't reached the point of like no more ever this is a not yet mm -mm. we'll see how it goes all right so link down there in the description box for the extended and everything that you need um, make sure you sign up to the webinar it's also there remember you guys have your own exclusive exclusive webinar for june 20. scorpio ascendant and scorpio moon Make sure, because I would read you guys, your chart is going to be for the next 18 months. Um, we're going to be reading from September this year, moving forward, because you have your partnership activated. Your Rahu K2, the North Node, South Node, will be in your Zodiac. And those things really, really, you know, takes precedence. You know, it's really strong transit. Okay? So, thank you very much, guys, for watching, Scorpio. Follow me on the other side. Bye, guys.